The Young and the Restless Spoilers Shock Wednesday 11-27-2024 Sharon's Plea for Forgiveness Sharon Newman paced nervously outside the makeshift holding cell where Phyllis Summers had been confined. The news of Phyllis waking up had spread quickly, igniting a mix of hope and fear among those who knew their tumultuous history. Sharon knew she had to act swiftly. As the heavy metal door swung open, Sharon rushed inside, her eyes brimming with tears. Phyllis looked up, her expression a mix of exhaustion and determination. Phyllis, I, I'm so sorry, Sharon cried, her voice cracking. I was wrong. Please forgive me. I'll go back to jail. I deserve to pay for what I did. Phyllis remained silent for a moment, studying Sharon's tear-streaked face. The room was thick with tension, the air heavy with unspoken truths. Sharon's genuine remorse was palpable, but Phyllis had learned to distrust easily. Just as Sharon began to recount her remorse, Phyllis interrupted her. Sharon, listen to me. This isn't over. Sharon froze, confusion mingling with hope. What do you mean? Phyllis took a deep breath, her eyes steely. What you think is a plea for forgiveness is actually a trap. Somewhat you up, just as, as they set me up. We need to work together to uncover the truth. Sharon staggered back, realization dawning on her. A trap? But why? Who would want to frame us both? Phyllis stepped closer, her resolve hardening. Because Heather's death isn't just an accident. It's part of a larger scheme, and we're the only ones who can piece it together. Unraveling the Mystery of Heather's Death Heather Adams' sudden and mysterious death had left Genoa City reeling. Despite numerous investigations, no one could pinpoint the exact circumstances surrounding her demise. Everyone wanted answers, but only a few possessed the tenacity and intelligence to seek them out. Phyllis and Sharon, now reluctantly allied, delved deeper into the enigma. Their investigation led them to uncover hidden alliances, secret meetings, and a web of deceit that spanned the city's most powerful figures. Each clue they uncovered only seemed to lead to more questions, painting a picture of a conspiracy far more complex than they had imagined. As they pieced together the fragments of Heather's life and the events leading up to her death, it became clear that someone wanted her silenced. But who had the motive and the means to orchestrate such a plot? The answers lay hidden in the shadows of Genoa City, waiting to be brought to light. Kyle and Summer's Risky Romance Meanwhile, across town, Kyle Abbott and Summer Newman were pushing the boundaries of their relationship. Their bond had always been strong. But recently, their closeness had become a topic of concern among their peers. Kyle's playful nature and Summer's passionate demeanor made them a captivating pair, but their relationship was teetering on the edge of exposure. Kyle loved the thrill, often taking risks that Summer found increasingly troubling. Their secret meetings, late-night rendezvous, and the constant threat of being discovered were straining their connection. Summer, torn between her love for Kyle and her fear of the repercussions, struggled to keep their relationship hidden. Claire Newman, Summer's younger sister, was particularly unsettled by their actions. She admired Kyle and looked up to Summer, but witnessing their reckless behavior made her anxious. Kyle, you need to slow down, Claire urged one evening as they sat in the family garden. This isn't healthy for any of us. Kyle chuckled, trying to brush off her concerns. Come on, Claire, we're just having fun. Nothing bad is going to happen. But Claire wasn't convinced. She could sense the tension building and worried that Kyle's antics would only lead to heartbreak and chaos. Victoria's disapproval and hidden agendas. Victoria Newman, Summer's mother and one of Genoa City's most formidable women, had never been fond of Kyle. His carefree attitude and tendency to disregard rules clashed with Victoria's meticulous nature and desire for control. She believed Kyle was setting a trap for Claire, one that would ultimately leave her vulnerable and alone. Victoria, he's not like that, Summer protested one afternoon as they sat in her office. Kyle cares about me. Victoria's eyes hardened. Care? Or is he simply playing with your emotions? I've seen how he treats those he cares about. He's using you, Summer. When he gets what he wants, he'll leave you without a second thought. Summer sighed, torn between her mother's warnings and her own feelings. I don't think that's true, Mom. Kyle is different. Victoria shook her head, her frustration evident. You're too young to see the bigger picture. Just leave this relationship before it destroys you. 
But Summer remained steadfast, her love for Kyle giving her the strength to stand her ground. I can handle it, Victoria. Please, just trust me. Victoria's disapproval was a constant source of tension, fueling the conflict between mother and daughter. As Kyle and Summer navigated their risky romance, Victoria's shadow loomed large, threatening to unravel everything they had built together. Audra's investigation intensifies. As the Abbott family grappled with their internal struggles, Audra Charles intensified her investigation into Amy Lewis's true intentions. Devin Hamilton remained her steadfast partner, and together, they uncovered more about Amy's manipulative tactics and her connections to Victor Newman. Audra's frustration grew as she realized the extent of Amy's deception. She's not just after Nate's trust. There's something bigger at play here. Audra concluded after reviewing the latest evidence. Devin nodded, his analytical mind piecing together the puzzle. Victor's fingerprints are all over this. Amy is just one piece of his grand design. Determined to expose the truth, Audra and Devin prepared to confront Amy once and for all. They knew that taking down Victor would require undeniable proof and a strategic approach. But the stakes had never been higher. Phyllis and Sharon's alliance. Phyllis and Sharon's newfound alliance was fraught with tension and uncertainty. Their shared desire for redemption and justice bound them together, but their past betrayals lingered like ghosts between them. We need to trust each other if we're going to succeed, Phyllis insisted during one of their late-night meetings. We can't afford to let our history get in the way. Sharon nodded, wiping away her tears. You're right. I want to make things right, not just for me, but for everyone Heather touched. Together, they mapped out their strategy, targeting the key players involved in the conspiracy behind Heather's death. Their investigation led them to unexpected places, uncovering alliances they hadn't anticipated and revealing the depth of Victor Newman's influence. Jack and Jill's strained relationship. Amidst the chaos, Jack and Jill Abbott found themselves facing their own set of challenges. Their once strong partnership had been tested by betrayals, business rivalries, and the shifting dynamics within their family. We need to put aside our differences for the sake of the family, Jack urged during a rare moment of vulnerability. If we don't work together, we're going to lose everything. Jill, still reeling from her fallout with Billy, sighed deeply. I know, Jack, but it's hard when I feel like I can't trust anyone anymore. Their mutual struggle to regain their children's trust only added to the strain. Jack's efforts to mend fences were met with skepticism, while Jill grappled with her own sense of inadequacy and regret. Claire's Dilemma and Jordan's Schemes Claire Newman found herself caught between her loyalty to her family and the growing influence of Jordan Newman. Jordan, always the schemer, saw Claire as a valuable asset in her own plans against Victor. Claire, we need to talk about our future, Jordan pressed one evening, her tone smooth but insistent. There are opportunities that we can't afford to miss. Claire, wary of Jordan's motives, hesitated. I'm not sure, Jordan. I have a lot on my plate right now. But Jordan was relentless, pushing Claire to consider the benefits of aligning more closely with her. Think about it, Claire. With my help, you can achieve so much more. Don't let fear hold you back. Meanwhile, Kyle's antics were becoming a liability. His playful nature and disregard for seriousness were causing friction with Summer and Claire, further complicating their relationships. Victor Newman, ever watchful, saw Kyle's behavior as a threat to his plans and decided to take action. 